Before that happens, we're going to bring up Kamal Walton, who is joining us to read a statement on behalf of Third World Resistance Network. Kamal is a longtime member of Critical Resistance and is the communications director at the Transgender, Gender Variant, and Intersex Justice Project. Give it up for Kamal! Happy International Workers' Day, Oakland! Woo! Woo! Who else is feeling that fire from Cat Brooks? Woo! Every time she walks into a room, I want to flip a table. So yes, my name is Kamal Walton. I'm a member of Critical Resistance, which is a part of Third World Resistance. We're a network dedicated to amplifying internationalism and anti-imperialism across the Bay Area. And today, people across the globe are taking to the streets. It's not just in Oakland, it's not just in Cali, it's not just in the U.S. People are taking action across the globe to celebrate and honor the struggle and sacrifices of workers. We're here to join them. We're here to show our power. Can y'all say power? Power! One more game. Power! Make it more powerful. Power! All right, here we are. And to demonstrate our solidarity with workers' movements resisting capitalism and imperialism all over the world. So for the last two years, we've seen violence, fascism, and a straight-up racist agenda promoted by the Trump administration. These attacks have been on immigrants through vans and travel restrictions, ICE raids, detention, and deportations have intensified. And we must understand in that process that Trump is intensifying what has already been built by decades of U.S. policy against third world people across the globe. So as we're out here on International Workers' Day, we must also understand that the attack on workers is an attack on every single one of our livelihoods. It's an attack on immigrants coming here to make a better livelihood for their families because they've been forced out of countries from U.S.-sponsored war and intervention. It's an attack on black, brown, and poor communities that are policed and imprisoned because of lack of access to jobs, stable housing, or ability to make a livelihood. And can't already name, those are the things that actually increase safety. That's what public safety looks like. It's an attack on our community members living in the third world whose economies and self-determination have been under attack from decades, decades, and in some places centuries of colonization and imperialism. So we're all here today as workers, as immigrants, as working class communities to say no more. Say it with me. No more. No more. No more. So no more war or intervention in Haiti, in Afghanistan, in Venezuela, in Yemen. No more U.S. aid and support for fascist regimes in the Philippines, in Brazil, or support of apartheid Israel's Zionist occupation of Palestine. So no more oppressive economic policies or military ventures in the Asian Pacific, in Central and South America, across Africa, and the Arab world. Today, we march with workers across the world, united against imperialism, capitalism, and state violence in all its forms. We're here to create bridges, not bands, not walls, to connect our struggles together. Our struggle for freedom is only going to be successful if we build across communities, across borders, and forge strong international solidarity. It can't just be today, it has to be every day. How are we building those bridges tomorrow, and next week, and next month? We unite against common enemies and we fight for a common dream. A, free, a future free of war, free of exploitation, and free of state violence from here to every single one of our homelands. So, down with imperialism! Down with imperialism! Up with the people! Up with the people! So this is a new chant, we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna say it once and then y'all can join in with me. We bridge the distance, third world resistance. We bridge the distance, third world resistance. We bridge the distance, third world resistance. And one more time, just because I really like saying it because it makes me feel powerful and I hope it does for you too. Power! Happy International Workers Day, y'all. Across from the East Coast, we have, excuse me, 
across this country to the East Coast, we have um, a few words from the current student senate at John Hopkins University. They have taken the admin building and they are holding it down. They are in the 29th day of sit-in at the main administrative building demanding the cancellation of the private police force that will be hired at John Hopkins and the end of the contract that John Hopkins has with ICE. They are also demanding justice along with the Baltimore community for Tyrone West who was a Baltimore resident murdered by a Morgan State police officer and Baltimore PD. His sister, Tawanda Jones, has held a protest and press release for 300 Wednesdays. This is the 300th Wednesday that his sister is holding a protest in the Baltimore community for justice for Tyrone. Please. Lift up our voices. Let them know that here in Oakland, California, we stand with them, we see them, we hear them, and we uplift their call for local and national and international justice. And we give voice to martyrs and victims of state violence. And we're here to say no more. So, on that note, are we ready to march, Oakland? So, please, elders and differently abled people, please come to the front, as well as strollers, folks with small children, then third world resistance and OSF organizers, and then unions, please also come behind them. ¿Están listas de marchar? No las escucho, ¿están listas? Pues antes queremos que todos los mayores, personas con diferentes habilidades y strollers y niños chiquitos, queremos que están en frentes primeros. Y entonces vamos a tener Third World Resistance y OSF Works. Y de último queremos los uniones. Y ahorita para Lead the Chance vamos a tener Yonza, the student director on the school board of Oakland Unified School District. Yeah. Gabby from Gabriela. And Katrina from Baya, Northern California.